Last question. First of all, I thank you for coming and speaking. And my question is, um, do you think it's possible to implement this idea of warehousing you mentioned in Iraq? And if so, how and how would it be marketed to us? Thank you. Well, I mean, that, that, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think it's the only model. Um, you know, Naomi Klein says that the Palestinians are the first entire people to be classified by the international community as surplus humanity. That, you know, it really doesn't matter if they get a mini-state or no state. Or the, they don't really count. And so, and so they're being warehoused. I, I don't know about, about Iraq. Um, I mean, uh, certainly the whole continent of Africa is being warehoused. Um, Iraq might, might not be warehousing. It might be more, uh, there's other forms of control. I mean, certainly you have the old forms of control of um, taking the resources of Iraq, using their own elite. You know, there's a concept of transnational, uh, the transnational bourgeois. In other words, uh, in other words, that you have in even the poorest country an elite that identifies with and is a part of a transnational elite that has more to do with elites in other countries than with the poor people in their own country. So you get a situation of control that's kind of neo-colonial, in which you'll have an Iraqi elite, like you have a Palestinian elite, in hoots, in cahoots with. Uh, with the Americans and others to control oil and, and other parts of the economy and, and the government and so on. So I'm not sure if warehousing is appropriate for Iraq, um, but uh, but it, it, but certainly uh, you know you have gradations of control and it all fits in. I mean Israel was very much a part of the American preparation for Iraq. You have house demolitions in Iraq that come out of the Israeli pattern. You have urban warfare, like for example, going through the walls of houses that the American troops used that they learned in Israel. Israel, before the Iraq War, when the Iraq War started, built in the Negev Desert mock-ups of like a $65 million mock-up of an Iraqi neighborhood and an Iraqi village that American troops practiced on before they went to, they went to uh, Iraq. Inside Israel, so that I mean, there's some real, I mean, direct uh, uh, ties between the. You know, I mean, the United States set up a civil administration in Iraq. They got that model from the civil administration in Israel. So there's some very, I mean, Israel. I'm telling you, you know, a country that has a 41-year history of, of control can be a pretty useful. You know, has developed over the years some pretty useful tactics and weapons and so on. So that I would look for those connections. Whether or not it's actually warehousing, I, I, I'm not so sure. That's not the only form of control that's possible. So listen, thank you very much for helping me. Did you